returns from school, everything is a source of fun. Congratulations for having uh, undergone the rigours of selection and, uh, and being our group now. Well, as you know, the Mikado is famous for being Japanese. Uh, the name implies it, and for years it's been played as if it was a straightforward Japanese operetta. As soon as you listen to it and you hear the actual dialogue and you hear the songs, it's quite clearly the English titassing around and simply being silly. Um, and the mask of Japanese has really begun to slip after a hundred years of playing it so that we've gone flat out for playing it as an English panto musical, uh, partly based on, on, on Jack Buchanan, part, partly based on Duck Soup, Marx Brothers, um, and indeed all the bits and pieces of uh, musical movies which would have been made really between 1925 and 1938. <coughs> uh, do you want to know the story of the Ricardo? It's a simple, silly pantomime story um, with a pantomime villain and a pantomime villainess and so forth. And, uh, it's so un-Japanese that, that I can't understand how it survived so long in the doily cart form with people tottering around with knitting needles stuck through their heads on, on little platform shoes and, uh, and lots and lots of kimonos. Oddly enough, uh, as time has gone on and we've, we've got sort of more and more accurate about decor and costumes, um, people have backed themselves up a muddy farm lane uh, from which there's absolutely no retreat. The, the more accurate you are in getting it Japanese, the more absurd it seems the more the inconsistencies come out. So what I thought to do is best thing to do is to drive right onto the onto the main road and say, okay, it's English. Let's see what happens and deal with the minor inconsistencies of people singing that. Uh, oh, what's that chorus when they all sing? It? And it's all sung in this yeah, the, on, uh, the, 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 this ridiculous toko, Japanese toko. toko. It's to sing it absolutely in a slow voice, you know, sort of Yamas toko, uh, <laughs> um, with no pretense at Japanese at all. Um, and it just it should have a feeling of. Um, um, of, uh, of the Ascot scene in My Fair Lady and uh, Saturday morning in the food halls at Harrods. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what we want is enormously accomplished, cool, ironically perfect dance routines, which simply are lowered in so that people instantly recognize them as being fragments of things that they've seen from all the musicals and movies that they've ever seen over the last 40 years. <laughs> Now, do you want them to know the step, or do you want them to look at these, like, I mean... I think they should be... I mean, I mean yes, they could have that should right, be just yes, doing, doing something that, right, yes. like so, this. So it's going slightly you know, against you two, so, you, yeah. so you two will be doing a little bitsy-bobsy in yeah, here, that's right? right. They're right. Doing a sort and of and, a, a and you should be one time. pace upstage, yes. up there, so you've got that happening there, then I'll have this happening here. Yes, that's right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring the, those round here, right? I'm gonna make another block up here. Right. Right, so can you give me one minute whilst I do that block up there? Now when? <laughs> okay, Sue, so, come and help me with the rhythm for a second. Yes, all right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Can we drive once again? You've got to come in first. You've got to go. You've got to go. That way first. Come in first. Right. In first. Ready? Once we get this perfect, yeah. then we can start putting in a sort of interesting sort of Jacques Tati mistakes into it. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs>
OK, let's no, stop there. He's on that note, I, what I want them to... I want them to be absolutely like Greek furies. This, it should be look like a sort of the fusily drawing of the three witches. It should be both together with their hands to droop. Yes, 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 but slightly... That's it, that's it. That's very Greek. OK, it's sort of Bradfield, Bradfield College Greek tragedy. Yes. So on immediately on... Away, yeah, yes, away. Away. Yes. I mean, it falls instantly into an opera, this. <laughs> okay, all right. Ah, it is Katisha, the maid of whom I told you. No, you shall not go. These arms shall thus sin This hand should reach out for her. <laughs> <laughs> Please, mummy. <my, my laughs> <laughs> and then. Oh. <laughs> okay. Back to the piano. Back, or... And then I think back to. The, we'll find a point where the piano comes, okay. and then there should be a peremptory call to your pilot accompanist. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fool that flees to my hallowed joys, oh, blind that sees to no equipoise. She arrives in complete evening dress, in the middle of the day, expecting a wonderful party. Yes, yes. Was to be met by chaos. Yes, yes. And I think it should be the work that Karen is making has got. <gasps> That's so, stunning. Because we also thought it would be nice if not only was she not in a kimono, but she was actually probably utterly glamorous. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Just stunning. Divine. Look so at gloves, that. furs, coats, bees. I didn't think this was going to be a glamorous that. role, and but look at it. We have to build it up a bit, I yes. think, so it's really high and sort of all... And then just swathes of black. I think these will all go missing when I've finished. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be so into it. I know, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I think definitely. Very shapely dressed. Yes. I think we should then make it flow right out at the bottom. With a sort of... Tr with a tr a that's terribly that's long how Margaret Dumont had it in, the, in duck that's soup, right. didn't she? That wonderful I've got it in here, so I could find the right one. Because, in a way, it started off, I mean, as you probably realise, the whole show started off from the angle of the Marx Brothers. Yes, yes. But for lots of reasons, I wanted it to push us back, back. into the 20s a yeah. bit. Yes. I mean, look at these, they're just brilliant. Yes, and she had lorgnettes as well. Yes, I know she did, and she was sort of always holding that one. <laughs> I love it. Oh, no, 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 this is just a, now, I think it's a cue for a sort of for a Schubert song. Yes. So I think what should happen is that well, when they're doing that dance, I think it should be instant well done. Go with you, do go to yes. your accompaniment, accompanist. Yes. Look through some some, some sheet music. Yes. Right. We'll, we'll, we, we, we'll show them. We'll lay we'll lay some Schumann on him. Then <laughs> 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 they give it as a complete recital. Okay. While they're dancing. Yeah, while they're dancing, yeah. that can be doing, that can be going on. Okay. Oh, the subject we pray you be done, done, done. We think you had better so come, come, come. You'll buy a pair of any who went for a penny, who went for a penny. There are lots of good fish in the sea, there are lots of good fish in the sea. There's lots of good fish, good fish in the sea. There's lots of good fish, good fish in the sea, the sea, the sea, the sea, the sea. The sea, the sea. A, a 
And I think it, 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 every now and then there can be a glance back to the music to see it. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Quite sure. I got it right. <laughs> 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 and I think as, as soon as that happens, um, you fall instantly into um, sort of a QEH postures. You see, it's, it's a, and and I, th I think. <laughs> <laughs> In a fatherly kind of way, I govern each tribe and sect, all cheerfully own my sway. Except his daughter in law elect, as tough as a bone with a will of her own, is his daughter in law elect. My nature is love and light, my freedom from all defect. Significant, quite compared with his daughter in law elect. Right, it's very nice if, in fact, if you do take her away murmuring um, as if suddenly you've, you've got to the end of your tether with her mm. and take her away with extreme discretion as if you're saying, um, look, I don't know how to put this, but, but I do wish you try not to interrupt on these royal occasions. You know, mm. it's just terribly bad for the crowd. I mean, I don't mind it at all, <laughs> but the, the crowd get a terrible confused sense of authority. They don't quite know, you know who it is. Is it you or is it me? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm perfectly perfect to hand over the whole authority to you, but it just mucks them up. I tell you what, you help up here. <laughs> yes. I think you're being, you are being very helpful. Um, but I wonder, I wonder if you could possibly be very helpful um, here, uh, <laughs> and I think there's a torch, a tremendous event to try and keep dignity. My object all sublime, I shall achieve in time to let the punishment fit the crime, the punishment fit the crime, and make each prisoner pent, unwillingly represent. A source of innocent merriment, of innocent merriment. Okay, stop there. I think that what should happen is once you get into that lilting thing, you should suddenly go into the most suave and accomplished sort of dance thing again. Oh, lovely. With this enormous corpulence, you see, it should have that wonderful deafness that the very fat sometimes have. Enormous thing, tiny twinkling feet. <laughs> As if, in fact, he's like, a, it's a helium-filled barrage balloon. <laughs> you know, just barely touching the ground and just kind of sort of lightly moving around like that. Mm. Just to position that, I think. And this will all be preset into the costume, so you won't have to go through this every time. All right. <laughs> just on that line. I think you've lost quite a bit of weight. <laughs> Summer holiday. It's <laughs> quite funny seeing Can you just, just try there. moving one of your arms around to see if this is enough? Say you had to put pick something off your hat or? Oh, I see. Oh, hat. Yeah. 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 I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I try sitting down? Yeah. yeah. You can turn it away, have you? I can't see. I don't cry. Charlie get on. Charlie get on. Telephone. That's lovely. It's, it, it's just really from there onwards just so to think about. Take that hardness out there and in fact put almost, I think, a roll of something. Lovely. All the dance number. <laughs> it moves beautifully. Yes, because if that means as a roll of fat... That's right, instead, it's just the hoop yes. that isn't working. Well, that's all it's going to be. It's only enough more. Let the punishment fit the crime, well, the punishment fit the crime, and make each prisoner pent, unwillingly represent a source of innocent merriment, of innocent merriment. Richard wrote that, which is from a, from a, a, a sort of... 
familiar tune, and then he changed it to he went and they went very loud in the piccolo. And then there's all these things as well, and which are not in the vocal score. And then the third verse, the bassoon goes goes. Um, and I think turn right up, Spanish, to, to, to get your thoughts. Um. <laughs> yes. Just cut the bars. And I think that there should be an air of nervous dependence. Don't forget that your entire future depends on whether he's going to actually provide uh, an adequate and satisfactory description. Um, so they should be glanced to one another and... Uh, you, yes? You should be hanging on his every word. And then, uh, uh, catch, catch the Mikado's here. <laughs> um. Describe it! <laughs> The criminal cried as he dropped him down for the state of wild alarm. Listen, look, look back to them. Isn't that true? Yes, it is. With a frantic, fearful, frightful frown, I bared my big right arm. I seized him by his little pigtail, and on his knees fell he. As he squirmed and struggled and gurgled and guggled, I drew my snake a snee. Uh, my snake a snee. Oh, never shall I forget the cry or the shriek that shrieked he. As I gnashed my teeth when from its sheath I drew my snake a snee. <laughs> yes, okay, right, that, that's fine. <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. I think what happens is that, is that he starts very tentatively. Yeah. And simply, well, think, and, and then we'll starts to, I just my no idea. And then starts to warm yeah. to it. And I think when you, when you, when that, uh, that little Luke comes there, you can be going. Mm. <laughs> we start once again see the, uh, the, un, the uncontrollable executing in which, reflexes. Which way is that? Just, just where you've got to when the. Yeah. And you're, you're going upstairs. <laughs> it, yes, it should be absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sudden, this, this, this execution, which never occurred, yes, <laughs> once again. <laughs> um, and yes, I think, don't, yes, yeah, I think there should be about bitter tea tea, dear. Don't strain it. <laughs> my poor fellow, in your uh, anxiety to carry out my wishes, you have beheaded the heir to the throne of Japan. Yes, I think there should be as if this is a. Um, uh, yes, I, I, I have, in a way. I mean, there should be that sort of feeling of the, the hand movements used to set. Yeah, well, oh, no, no. Yes. Stop that! Stop that! <laughs> I, um, I, um, I uh, beg to offer um, um, an unqualified uh, apology. I wish to be associated what, with that what? I decide, to associate I decide to associate myself with that expression of regret. We really hadn't the least notion. No, of, of course you hadn't. How could you? Come, come, my fellow, don't distress yourself. Yes, yes, yes. I apologize. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Which you should studiously ignore. <laughs> it's always again. It's a minor thing. <laughs> and also, I think that should be said. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Savoring licks. It's got to be a grovel, hasn't it? That's to be grovelling. <laughs> With a. Nowhere else to go but down yes. here. <laughs> but there should be some experimental tastes of the turf.
It was that Herbert Wilcox world, though, wasn't it? I mean, mm. that was... He was the big musical star C. D. Cochran, of, of, of... Yes, the Cochrane Reviews, and uh, he was contemporary with um, the early Ivan Novello. I mean, he was, mm. he's a great matter. Mm. Oh, it's simply wonderful. <laughs> you know, I had a cat once, a stray cat. I found it near the gasworks. <laughs> do you like gasworks? No, I hate them. Yeah, so do I. You see, we agree still, don't we? <laughs> By the way, do you like olives? No, not much. No, neither do I. There's no expression, has there? Mm -hmm. Oh, darling, tell me quickly. Do you like strawberries? Oh, yes. Ginger pop? Yes. <laughs> Boiled beef and carrots? Yes. <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh, yes. Darling. <laughs> It's a very standard voice. They all speak exactly yes, the same right. way, yes, really. It's, 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 rather, it's all the same pitch. It's very, very high. It's rather high pitched. And they talk about things like family. And you really want to get married. Married, they say, married. rather than married. Married. I think it's very indelicate of you to refer to such a subject on such a day. If my married happiness is to be... to be... cut short? Well, cut short in a month. Can't you let me forget it? We start losing a lot of this as soon as people get up on that big stage and feel that they've got to be heard. And by making it louder, <coughs> you then start losing the subtlety of, of, yes, of what you're saying. Yes, but nevertheless, it should have a certain sort of artificial brazenness. Exactly. Which is what, in fact, these, these shows, after all, I mean, much of this accent was used in order to project. Yes. Quite suddenly, you'd hear these ringing voices ringing <laughs> out as, uh, as right. uh, there used to be radio broadcasts. We're going over to the Palace Theatre, Watford, and quite suddenly, you'd hear these voices coming out and ringing across the footlights. And it's, it's, it's a voice designed for theatrical exactly. projection. Exactly. If you actually start to imitate someone by taking the vowels one by one, you never get it. Okay. What happens is you go on listening, and then you try one vowel, and suddenly, at the moment when you get one, the whole package delivers. Mm. That's right. mm. It's very strange. It's, it's a, what you get is a demeanour. You yes, don't do it by, by, as it were, making an inventory of all the sounds. Yes. You, often you can do it by, by something which is not in the voice, but it's to do with the posture. Mm. You get the posture right, and the voice pours out as a result of getting the posture right. Mm. La, 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 on the piano. Turn to them. In other words, in between your verses of singing, when in fact they're going. And it's, it's that convivial smile between the three. Okay? I'm just wondering what I'll do. You know, if, you if will the audience finds it you funny. You play it straight through. That's the whole yes. point. But whenever an audience finds something funny. I think it's, that's very likely to. In that mm -hmm. case, go straight, unswerving through mm -hmm. to the central point. In other words, it's. The, the, the greater the distance between us and the 30s, the more absurd it looks. But they are still fixed in the 30s, and you should mm. be fixed in that period. So is, is, what is the point of this aria? Is it just a little moment? It's a little taken moment. Out? It's a little moment. And it's as out of context as Catish as what was then, yes. in, in yes. terms yes. of... Yes. Well, all of these things are little panels of things. They, 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 it's, it's like looking through a scrapbook of the 1930s, which is what all mm. these songs are. Mm. 
It's an anthology of uh, sentimental songs, silly songs, musical mm. songs. It's, and this is, a, this is the sentimental song. Mm. The, the, the lines that are being spoken are yes. lines from famous types of plays. They're lines take from offs. melodrama. They're lines yeah. from the... They're takeoffs. Yeah. The story. No one can take the story seriously at all. I mean, there's no one serious in this thing. It's just a series of very brilliant review sketches, mm. which happen to be strung together in the form of a story in the same way as Panto. Panto actually consists of acts, mm. lightly Compass. strung like beads, on, on the thread of a completely implausible story. Mm. Right? I've just ascertained that by the Mikado's law, when a married man is beheaded, his wife is buried alive. Buried alive? Buried alive. It's a most unpleasant death. But who did you get that from? <laughs> yes, I thought oh. it would be nice if you were. It's a most unpleasant death. It's a most unpleasant death. But who did you get that from? <laughs> oh, uh, from Poobar. He's uh, my solicitor. But he may be mistaken. Well, so I thought so. I consulted the Attorney General, the Lord Chief Justice, the Master of the Rolls, the Judge Ordinary, and the Lord Chancellor. They're all of the same opinion. Never knew such unanimity in a point of law in my life. Well, I suppose I may take it that my dream of happiness is at an end. Done. <laughs> yes, I think that it would be nice if you actually took, took a seat there. Yes. Yeah. And then I, the lugs, the lugs you're yeah. looking at them. Yes, because I don't speak any more for this. They're a little yes. closer. I think it should be. Yes. 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 Yeah. What a pity. <laughs> what a pity. <laughs> 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 yes. Here's a how do you do. Yes, if yes, I marry yes, you. yes. Now, now, I think it should be, here's a how do you do, if I marry you. Oh, so yes, it's, 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 it's this dilemma. You see, Hurry. here's Hurry. a how do you do, if I marry you. Yes, yes, so that yes. It's, yeah, torn between yes. the two, yes. Yes, yes. For when your time has come to perish, then the maiden whom you cherish must be slaughtered too. Yes. Here's a how do you do. Here's a how do you do. Here's a pretty mess, in the month or less. I must die without a wedding. Let the bitter tears I'm shedding witness my distress. Here's a... Sorry, what's wrong? Oh, no, you're right, you're right. It's, be it's been on, but it's gone off. Sorry, what's wrong? Cutting lines? Well, only the prompt would know that, Leslie. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. It's the long one. This is the long one. Should be the front. Okay. Yes, but are they the right lengths? They're different lengths, and the person in the back got the wrong one. Well then, I think I could have seen them in this little mirror. So would it be helpful if I backed up? Just, just back up, ladies. If you can actually, you know, when you make the final knot. Off the piano. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Yes. Um, and I think that you can say all the stuff into the mirror. Once you say, no. Nature is lovely. Nature is lovely, as, as is instanced by what I can see here, you see. Nature is lovely, then. yes. Nature is lovely. No, nature is lovely and rejoices in her loveliness. And, yes, and, 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 rejoices, in her and loveliness. rejoices in her loveliness. And then I am a child of nature. I, that's out. Yes, it's rather it? soulful. I am a child I of nature. I am a child of yes, nature. It's a rather more sort of, a, 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 sort of, you know, I am a child of nature. I am a child of nature. That's a little bit more nature, breathy. Nature, nature. Nature. Yes. I am a child of nature, and I take after my mother. I don't like that last bit. No. It and sort I, of it's just, loses it's, energy, and I, doesn't and it? I, and I take after my mother. Rather sort oh. of modest. And I take after my mother. You know, I'm, I'm taking no credit for this astonishing beauty. <laughs> it's just a bequest. <laughs> Mother Nature, thank you. And the first line, the yes, I am beautiful. Yes, I am indeed. Yes, that's beautiful. Sure. Yes, I think it's, it's just it can be out to the sort of rather lazily out to the audience. Oh. Yes, I am indeed beautiful. Sometimes I wonder, you know, mm. fellows, you, you you'll be with me. Sometimes I sit and wonder. No, 
Sometimes I sit and wonder. Sometimes I sit and wonder why it is I am so much more attractive than anybody else in the whole world. <laughs> world. 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 So much more attractive than anybody else in the whole world. 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 Yes, no, not world. Oh, God. World. 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 Yes, Small so mouth. You imagine it's spelled W E R L D. World. That's it. Anybody else in the whole world? Can this be vanity? No. Can this be vanity? No. Na no. Nature is lovely and rejoices in her loveliness. I am a child of nature and I take after my mother. I wonder if one would get anything of the backdrop on that, from the top. I find it rather disappointing. There's not enough of it. The backdrop, no, I don't know. Can't get it. Could be that there's not enough of it. Enough well, it's enough of it. It's, it's, there's it's, not enough of it in certain areas. Well, it also is due to the fact that it's seen through two sets of windows, so that oh. it's, it's extremely throwaway. But I want it rather to be throwaway again. It yes, should be a, an extremely um, a subliminal thing, which you pick up. Yes, but it, I don't know what it is. You, it is quite right. Well, what is it? It's the quality of the painting. It's, uh, I don't know. It doesn't glow enough, perhaps. These two, um, Eric and uh, Felicity, are marvellous. He's absolutely marvellous. The way he switches in and out of his accent. Yes, it's wonderful, that. Yes, it is marvellous. I must have a talk to Richard Angus about picking up the speed of, the, um, of, that, of that interrogation. <laughs> Sorry, I... We feel that we felt a bit awkward here, Bonnie, Nanki Poo, uh, Nanki Poo and Yum Yum and myself, during this patch after that line, or during the beginning, before they have to sing. Oh, you mean when you... When yes, you... when I come in, in behind them and just uh, say, oh, well done, sort of thing. Then... I think you should sort of gather them both to your bosom, I think. It would be wonderful, because it's, it's such a capacious... It does gather you... Yes, yes, yes we want them. ...embrace them. You have to sink into this sort of enormous... All right. ...cock fire. Yes, lovely. Yes, from Catholic Quite to a lot of time. <laughs> yes, I think so. Yes, well, we'll right. start with that, and then... You should get embraced by the two of them, when you think like... Oh! Oh, yeah, so... so... <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh. He looks wonderful in that. Yeah, it's great. Like, beautiful. I just think that he, what he needs, though, is a Panama hat. Fatty Arbuckle lips, he is. Yeah, I think it's too Fatty Arbuckle. Yeah. It's too comic. So I think what he should be, it should be rather more... Sydney Green Sydney Street. Green yeah. Street you know, and uh, it should be like some sort of seedy British consul in Georgetown in 1928. <laughs> <laughs> Large, grubby Panama hat. But yeah. he does it wonderful. And it's so I vow that deathly vow was a touching sight to see. The trunkless yet couldn't forget the deference due to me. As you hear them, it should start to become slightly less plausible, and there should be a tremendously tense interest. You can even edge forward a little bit at the moment when the Mikado says, "Describe it," and when um, when Eric does that, mm, and then goes ah, um, and the music um, starts. There should be. For God's sake, make it a good story. For Christ's sake, our very livelihood depends on this. So that you can actually creep forward a little bit on that, so that there's an attention to it. Okay? Is, is that... I mean, I would go into it at a deeper, more <laughs> Stanislavskian level, had I the time, but... Okay, shall we try this scene, anyway? Okay, so we're going to do it from the entrance of the court. So we need to take it from the beginning of the music, she's gone and married Yam Yam. <laughs> Hold 
it there. Right, now that wasn't absolutely clean. There are still some people who don't, uh, who don't come in when they're singing their own lines on this. So, Anthony, let's get this absolutely clean. The only other thing is that the, the, in the tapping sequence, the chorus have to we have to get Pete to get them to sing louder. Yeah. Uh, everybody has to sing more precisely and tap more precisely. Mm. Otherwise, we have to cut down the taps on yes, the shoes. Yes, I agree. Because, uh, it is no point in covering the music. No, no. Absolutely. It should just be there like a sort of. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I was very terribly pleased. Yes. So the other, the other thing, ladies and gentlemen, is we've, we've got to clear up stage, obviously, for the curtain. This, this involves the principals, but it also involves people downstage here. Otherwise, you will be cut off in your primes, as we, as we know happens before. So I think before we actually break, what we ought to do is we ought to do She's Gone and Married Yum Yum right through to the end, including the curtain coming down. So could we, could we line up for that? Should feel when as they reel out of this that they've, they've overeaten an enormous meal of cream meringues. It's a simple, silly pantomime story, um, with a pantomime villain and a pantomime villainess and so forth. And uh, it's so un-Japanese that, that I can't understand how it survived so long in the doily cart form, with people tottering around with knitting needles stuck through their heads on, on little platform shoes and, uh, and lots and lots of kimonos. Oddly enough, uh, as time has gone on and we've, we've got sort of more and more accurate about decor and costumes, um, people have backed themselves up a muddy farm lane uh, from which there's absolutely no retreat. The, the more accurate you are in getting it Japanese, the more absurd it seems, the more the inconsistencies come out. So what I thought to do is best do is to drive right onto the, onto the main road and say, OK, it's English, let's see what happens, and deal with the minor inconsistencies of people singing that... Uh, oh, what's that chorus when they all sing? I mean, it's all sung in this, yeah, on, uh, the, 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 this ridiculous Tokyo, Japanese yeah. toko. It's to sing it absolutely in a slow voice, you know. Hello, and uh, uh, congratulations for having undergone the rigours of selection and, uh, and being our group now. Well, as you know, the Mikado is famous for being Japanese. 
uh, the name implies it, and for years it's been played as if it was a straightforward Japanese operetta. As soon as you listen to it and you hear the actual dialogue and you hear the songs, it's quite clearly the English titassing around and simply being silly. Um, and the mask of Japanese has really begun to slip after a hundred years of playing it. So that we've gone flat out for playing it as an English panto musical, uh, partly based on, on, on Jack Buchanan, part, partly based on Duck Soup, Marx Brothers, um, and indeed all the bits and pieces of uh, musical movies which would have been made really between 1925 and 1938. <coughs> uh, so the Yamas, Tokyo, uh, <laughs> um, with no pretense of Japanese at all. Um, and it just it should have a feeling of, um, um, of, uh, of the Ascot scene in My Fair Lady. And... Uh, Saturday morning in the food halls at Harrods. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what we want is enormously accomplished, cool, ironically perfect dance routines, which simply are lowered in so that people instantly recognise them as being fragments of things that they've seen from all the musicals and movies that they've ever seen over the last 40 years. <laughs> Now, do you want them to know the step, or do you want them to look at these, like, I mean... I think they should be... I mean, I mean, they yes, could have that, that's right, yes. be just doing, doing something that, right, yes. like so this. So, it's going it's you two, so, you, yeah. so you two will be doing a little bitsy bobsy in yeah, here, that's right? right. right. And, sort of and, a, a, a and you should be one here. pace upstage, yes. up there, so you've got that happening there, then I'll have this happening here. Yes, that's right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring the, those round here, right? I'm gonna make another block up here. Right. Right, so can you give me one minute whilst I do that block up there? Now when? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> come help me with the rhythm for a second. Okay. <laughs> yes, all right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Can we try once again? You've got to come in first. You've got to go. You've got to go. That way first. Come in first. Right. In first. Ready? Once we get this perfect, yeah. then we can start putting in a sort of... Into